YouTube, what's good? I know you guys been waiting for this, so let's jump right into it. This is a 360 wave video on the three best tips to get 360 waves. First and foremost, you guys gotta know that waving is a lifestyle, okay? It might seem crazy to some, but those people just don't understand. You gotta take it serious, and that's one of the things we all lack. I'm pretty sure a lot of you watching this lack that as well. As I did as well, you see the progress. If you guys have been following me for a while, you've seen where I came from. Back in January 2017 is when I started my wave journey, where I had a small amount of waves, but you know, you gotta start somewhere. So from January all the way up until now, I've just been brushing, I've been applying these three important tips to the best of my ability, you know? So I put in and I'm getting the results from the work that I put in. You can't get results if you don't put in the work. So the first tip, you gotta get some kind of butter or some kind of pomade. Now you don't have to go excessive, I used to just load up my hair with a whole bunch of different products, but you really don't have to, it's not necessary, and overall, it will jack you up. Over time, it will jack you up, simply because you're packing all those different chemicals inside your hair, and it'll cause you to itch, and a whole bunch of other crap, so avoid packing your hair with a lot of these pomades, a lot of these butters, but you do want to apply small amounts periodically. So. One of my favorite, one of my most favorite butters is the Cold Label Premium Butter. So this is basically your Wave and Scout Butter. Uh, you can compare it to your Shea Butter, but pretty much it, it holds down your woof. Woofing, of course, if you're growing your hair out for a certain amount of uh, time, your hair will turn into a fro. That's called woofing. And that's what you need in order to get the waves. And you put some of this Cold Label in and it holds it down it uh, keeps your hair fairly moisturized. And it's just an all around good product, man. It, it keeps the shine. I really like it because it doesn't stick to my hair too much. I can easily wash it out. And I only had to apply it like every two days or every even three days. You know, I would throw it in at night. I would get a brush session in. I would throw on my do rags and my, uh, my wave cap. And then in the morning, unrag and the waves are crazy. So I definitely recommend the Cold Label. No, I'm not sponsored or any sort. This is just what I use. And um, it's on on the site, I think it's like $15 a can. So it's a very, very small can, but it's definitely worth it. Now, for my cheap waivers out there, I'm also a cheap waiver, I recommend getting your 360 style pomade. So this pomade, just like the Cold Label, don't really want to make too many comparisons because they'll probably hate me for it, but it holds it holds down your hair. It's non-greasy as well. It give you that shine. Uh, you throw it in, you get your nice brush session in, you throw on your do-rag, you unrag, and the waves are crazy. So same thing as before, man. Uh, use the same process, only every two days, every three days. You don't have to pack a lot. Uh, the can says like a dime size. Um, yeah, just a little, little scoop. Throw it in your hair, it's gonna hold down the wolf. It's gonna hold your hair down. You probably will not need it if you're not wolfing. So remember, you have to wolf in order to get the waves. And you can definitely use this type of pomade and this type of butter. Now, do what you want, get whatever butter or whatever pomade you want. There's a lot of them out there, a lot of cheap ones, a lot of expensive ones. Do whatever you want for your hair, but these are just the two that I have been using and I really enjoy it. Moving on to the next tip, you gotta wash your hair. You have to find some routine and you have to wash regularly. Putting in these different butters, putting in different pomades will cause your hair to be filled with at least a little bit of chemicals at least. So you need to make sure your hair is clean in order for it to curl. Now, a lot of you out there, maybe you're working out, maybe you're sweating throughout the day, your job or whatever it is, but all that sweat starts to pack in as well and it will cause your hair to be extremely dirty and your hair will not wave up if it's dirty. Um, you can actually think of it this way. The more dirt that's in your hair is blocking your wave to connect. A lot of forks will be created 
and that can be that can be caused by having dirty hair. So you want to make sure your hair is as clean as possible. You can if you're depending on the amount of time you're woofing, you want to be washing maybe two to three times a week. Me personally, I do once a week. I could do more. Um, I just choose to do once a week and it works well for me. Do what works for your hair. Uh, by the way, I am a coarse hair waver, so for all you medium coarse or straight hair wavers, you might not listen to anything I say, but uh, a lot of this can go with all different textures, but you definitely want to make sure you're washing your hair and removing all that dirt. And if I didn't state it before, I use the Shea Moisture Shampoo, and it's good because it moisturizes my hair and it keeps it nice and shiny. So we touched on the wave butters, we touched on the wave pomades, and we touched on washing your hair, keeping it moisturized. The last tip, the last, the final tip. Let's get a drum roll. You gotta brush your hair. There's only, there's only like two or three times that I'm not brushing my hair. When I'm at work, when I'm out and about, or when I got my do-rag on. Any other time, I am constantly brushing my hair. Training your hair. You have to train your hair. Your hair is not gonna wave up if you do not train it. Train your hair. Like I said, it might seem crazy to some, but those people don't understand that waving is a lifestyle. You have to add this into your lifestyle. Brushing, brushing, brushing. You wanna go a hard brush, you wanna go medium brush, and you also wanna go soft. In the brush session clip that you're watching, it definitely is a medium brush that I'm using. A medium and soft connected, and I also have a hard brush, which I use as well. This is from the Basics Change. I got a simple $2 brush. And the other, the medium and soft brush is from Walmart. No, I'm not going to spend $20 on a brush. I don't really, I personally don't believe that a brush, a different type of brush, can cause you to get different results. And if so, then I'm wrong, but I'm just not going to spend $20 for a brush. There's like $100 brushes out there. Those Torino brushes and all those different uh, Royal Crown brushes and all that. I just can't do it guys, it's not, although it is a lifestyle, I'm not going to go into debt, I'm not going to, for these waves, you know what I mean, so I'm going to get it the cheap way and I'm going to make it happen, and as you see the, for the progress that I had over the year, yes it could be better, but this is good for me, you know, and uh, it is what it is, you do what you want for you, but you definitely want to make sure you're brushing at all times, brush, 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 people hate hearing that, they, they ask how did you get your uh, 360 waves when really, all I did was brush my hair and train it. So it's all about training. And you want to make sure you're getting that same angle all the time. Or you will have some forks if you switch up the angle too many times. You want to make sure you're getting the angle that you want your waves. You got 360 waves, 720 waves. I think they got 540 waves. But brush at whatever angle that you want your waves to grow. You want your waves to form. I want 360s, so I brush in a 360 pattern. So that's all I got for you guys today. I know you guys been waiting for that 360 wave video. Just an update, man. 2018. Just an update on the waves, man. It's been a year since I've been I've started this journey, and I am impressed with my progress. Um, sometimes it can be a little difficult trying to maintain, but hey, once you get those things formed, you're good to go, man. You can just maintain them. All, but you always got room for improvement. But it's all about maintaining, getting you a nice routine with your uh, with your wash and your brush, and just making it happen, man. 2018, let's stay wavy, let's get wavy, let's get it done, man. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. I got more wave videos coming for you guys. Go ahead, jump on over to the fitness side of the channel. Make some gains in the gym. We doing that for we doing that for real. This ain't this ain't no play play time in the gym. It's for real. So. Waves, fitness, let's get it, let's get it done. 2018. Thank you guys for watching.